Cyber attacks are increasingly common, but what damage can they really do? NATO Review asked the White House's former director for cyber infrastructure protection what he thought. We started by asking what would happen if a focused malware like Stuxnet got out of control. Stuxnet did get loose from the networks it was supposed to be in. And you know what, even after it got loose, it caused no damage in those systems because it was so finely engineered so that it broke out of its cage and no one got hurt. But we have no reason to expect that the other guys that do their own autonomous weapon is going to be nearly as careful as the designers of Stuxnet. You've mentioned uh, the possible connection of the electrical grid mm. to the internet uh, and what that may open up in terms of extra threats. How much is that being taken seriously? But within the United States, with other um, OECD countries that are looking at smart grid, they are taking standards pretty seriously to say, before we do this, let's make sure it gets done well. On the downside, we've seen again and again where we rush out a new technology because it's fun, it's cool, um, or for smart grid, that it's both green, it's environmentally sound, and saves money in the long term. For, for so many countries in austerity, they are going to rush towards that, and I'm afraid the standards we're working on won't quite be ready by the time we've rushed them out. You've mentioned that countries that have been attacked, for example, Estonia, the effect uh, was minimal. I think you, you mentioned it's less than 1% of GDP. Is there a danger that the economic impact of some of these attacks will be longer term rather than within the year of the attack? So for disruptive attacks, it's true. We have had difficulty finding any disruptive attack that has, has a significant impact on national GDP. In one of the very first incidents in cyberspace, it's called the Morris Worm, in 1988, a, an expert said this cost anywhere from 100000 to $10 million in damage. Two orders of magnitude in his guess. Is the loss in the fact that many years, um, many millions are often invested in the research mm. and development to reach that point, and therefore right. sharing that means an automatic loss? Yes, I've heard anecdotes of companies that have known the information was taken and decided not to pursue R&D leads. There are other examples where the information that was stolen was not some kind of plan or trade secret. It was a negotiating strategy for oil and gas lots, for example. And they found the company was bidding against a Chinese company that bid $1 more. Um, so in those, that's a more directly measurable, but it's still difficult to find out if this is a tens or hundreds of millions of dollars problem or tens or hundreds of billions of dollar problem. Do the private sector and the public sector coordinate enough on cyber responses? No, not at all. But it's largely, the I see that as largely a government fault um, because when it comes to stopping cyber attacks or resolving cyber conflicts, the government has very few levers that it can actually use to make it better. And the levers it does have, coercive power, it's extremely reluctant to use those levers. So most of the problems are solved by the private sector, uh, and they need more government support to help the, the especially the non-state volunteer groups that are really key to responding to cyber conflicts and helping them respond better. You have said in the past that there's been too much silence on these issues, uh, especially by the governments, and uh, that that is not particularly healthy. How do you feel that the recent meeting between the US and the Chinese leaders, where cyber was on, on the list of agendas to discuss, how do you feel that's changed things? The last six months has seen the Obama administration really take off uh, and take this on directly. Uh, it's astounding to see how, what she and Obama discussed uh, and, and how much cyber featured. So I'm quite optimistic that this might lead to changes in Chinese behavior. There's, there are many good reasons to believe that this might have an impact. Certainly, it's going to have more impact than being silent did, which only saw this get much worse over time.